Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting a new series. It has been long awaited, but I hope you think it's worth the wait. I am doing a hieroglyphic course, if you did not already know. Um, I've started studying for a diploma, um, which I hope will take me into a degree. Um, I am an aspiring Egyptologist and I would love to work with archaeology in a museum and all that. So I thought it would be really cool to share with you some of the things that I've been learning. Um, if you're interested in Egypt, um, in the culture, in learning more about their history. Um, and yeah, so this one, this video is going to be about module one. There's ten modules and um, the first one is about the brief history of hieroglyphics. So the definition of a hieroglyphic. Hieroglyphics are one of the earliest writing systems um, which is entirely composed of pictures. Um, if you see the pictures or symbols which you may do in like the British Museum or the Met Museum, um, these are monument inscriptions. However, if you see more cursive hieroglyphics these are known as religious literature. So there's a difference between those two. Um, the symbols reflect recogni recognisable objects, sounds and meanings. So this could include birds, animals, plants and buildings. Things that we would recognise in day-to-day -day life. Um, the word hieroglyphics actually came from the Greeks. And this is because when they came to Egypt and saw the symbols, um, they thought them to be holy carvings. And the Greek word hieroglyphicus translates to sacred carving. So it was actually the Greeks that named it. And that's why we now call it hieroglyphics. The early development of hieroglyphics was dated back to the dynasty period, which was 1150 to 2613 BCE and some of these hieroglyphics um, were believed to be naturally advanced rock pictures that were produced by prehistoric hunting communities living in the Egyptian desert. Um, however, in more religious terms, it was believed that the um, Egyptians refer to their writing as Medjunetta, which translated to the god's words. Um, the god Thoth, um, the god of writing, wisdom and moon magic, had given it to the Egyptians to strengthen their memory and to make them wiser. However, the god Re worried that the humans would rely too much on the written word and would actually weaken memory. So the two gods compromised, and so therefore Thoth gave the gift only to the scribes. So that's quite a cool story, um, to believe that that gift was from the gods, and that that's how they got their ability to write these hieroglyphics. So the scribes were the only ones that could write in hieroglyphics. Um, they were the ones that achieved positions of power. They were below, just below the pharaoh, who in itself was believed to be a god. So they were very high up there. And they did all the administrative, legal and religious functions. Um, and they would use these hieroglyphics to record court proceedings, medical procedures, tax accounts, um, re-encounting battles and histories of the kings and so forth. So the ancient hieroglyphs comprised of 2,700 characters, which is a lot. Um, and the hieroglyphs were used until about 400 AD. This was a result of the Greeks, Romans and Arabs coming across Egypt. And as the years went on, their culture influenced came into Egypt and little by little the ancient Egyptian ways were dying. Which is quite sad. Um, it did make me quite annoyed <laughs> that they destroyed the ancient Egypt culture. Um, so the 
Adam, I've lost my way. So next was a form of hieroglyph called hieratic. Um, and this was used for most of Egyptian history. Um, and this was used up to 700 BCE. However, as more and more Greek influence came, Coptic became the new development and this was only 30 letters and this was 24 Greek characters with six other symbols that were typical Egyptian sounds. Um, and then when the Arabic language was spoken and written in English, the knowledge of hieroglyphs completely died out and no one was left to continue that. So again, it was very sad. Um, but one of the symbols um, was of a duck and this was used for the word sun because vowels were very good caretakers of their offspring and so a man was likened to a foul bird that would care for his son and I thought that was really nice, I thought that was really good. Um, so lastly it just talked about the Rosetta Stone. If you've been to the British Museum you may have seen it, um, it is an incredible piece. Um, it was actually found by the French troops in 1799 the stone dates back to 196 BCE. Um, Napoleon's men were the ones to find it. However, months later, the French surrendered it to the British. Um, it was found in Alexandria and it became property of King George III, who asked for it to be placed in the British Museum and it has been there ever since. However, it was not until the 19th century that a French Egyptologist, Jean-Francois Champollion, I hope I pronounced that right, he was the one that was able to define the hieroglyph characters and symbols and to translate it. Um, the stone was split into three, so at the top you had hieroglyphics, um, at, in the middle you had the demonic script um, and then you had the Koan Greek at the bottom so it was the variations of when the influence started coming um, and then <clears throat> the words were also given different transliteration so they would use various brackets to determine different meanings um, and yeah so that is module one um, already a lot of information to take in that was just a small fraction of what I had to learn um, and at the end of it I had a assignment that I had to do and I thankfully passed um, but yeah, it's a lot. Um, so next week I will upload module two and a little sneaky preview. It will be about the ancient Egyptian view of the world, life and death, which was my favorite topic. Um, I'm really interested in the ancient Egyptians afterlife and their beliefs in that and how it was such a big thing in their lives that literally every living day was preparation for the afterlife. Um, so yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this episode. Um, I hope you've learnt something that you didn't already know about the hieroglyphs um, and the ancient Egyptians. If you really enjoyed this and you want to see more of these episodes, please do hit that subscribe button, the like button and hit that bell notification. Um, leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts of this, if there was something that you've learnt that you didn't know. Um, or if you have a question about the ancient Egyptians that you would like to know and I can see if I can answer it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!